Hey everyone, um, it's it's Blake again with another Photoshop tutorial for you today. So what I'm going to show you is how to fix a common problem with photo obstruction. You see how we have right here that the phone hand blocking this face. I mean, this could be a really good picture, but I mean, it's just getting blocked. So. Um, one thing that you might see on the internet when you're looking for tutorials on how to fix this is people will go ahead and you know just select the area that they that they want to omit and then you know just kind of do a little content aware fill and that's like the quick solution for everything but I mean it's new in CS5 and it does see you can tell it looks pretty good you have the you have the basic outline of the face and then the shoulders going in the right direction kind of I mean you'd have to do a little touching up you know maybe kind of draw in some features but I mean it's for a perfectionist like me it just doesn't cut it so here is here's the method that I use whenever I can and I mean whenever I have another photo that I can use to correct my original that doesn't always happen but sometimes I'll just take extra photos because I like to take pictures so what you will want to do is go to your photo like okay um, just get the quick selection tool and just kind of draw out the area that you want to use to heal the other picture you know and uh, kinda tune that a little bit and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and command C or edit copy and then go over to your original picture and just paste paste that on there you can press V for the selection tool and um, you're gonna wanna kinda match it up as good as possible I like to adjust the opacity so I can kinda see through and see it's not really the same size so just go ahead and command T open up transformation Hold shift to keep your proportions and drag that out a little bit, you know. Maybe get the angle just right. I mean you can you can really spend a couple days tweaking tweaking this and then just go ahead and hit return and then command H hide the selection. And before you adjust your opacity, I'd like to you need to get out your eraser and just go ahead and erase everything that isn't covering the phone so you have as much of the original photo as possible and just go through and erase erase that stuff get rid of that and then um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and adjust the opacity of that original layer back and then you can see it matches up like I mean I, could, I couldn't even tell it takes a trained eye to be able to spot that so um, I mean that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And if you wanna, if you wanna really get anal about it and correct a lot of things, then um, you can go ahead and just go ahead and merge your layers. And then you're gonna wanna get your patch tool. And um, if you wanna get rid of the phone, then just select the phone like that. And then just drag up till you get part of the wall that you really want. Like, see, I mean, and then just and then command D to deselect. And then just get your smudge tool, kind of work those lines in. You can't even tell. And if if that doesn't quite cut it for you, then you can always go in and you can go ahead and make some adjustments to the photo to make it just to kind of fine tune it to where you want you know I mean it it really depends on your style and that that right there that makes a perfect a perfect Facebook profile picture so, um, 
I just wanted to show you guys how you can take a photo that you might typically throw out and show you that you can save it and you can really get your money's worth from your photos. Thanks.